Uh, hi and welcome back to the channel. You may have guessed by that rather poorly disguised thumbnail that uh, I am awaiting my new synth which is a Waldorf below felt and I have got the full keyboard version um, as opposed to the desktop. So a lot of people probably haven't heard of uh, Waldorf or the below felt because it is rather old uh, and this came out in 2008. So they started off with uh, the desktop version, so that was 2007, and then a year later they came out with the keyboard. And I was going to get this version and use it with my Essential 49 Arturia keyboard. I happened okay. to see uh, one on eBay that was going for a great price, so I just bought that one instead. Now I'm actually getting the black one, uh, if we've got product images. Yeah, so I'm getting the black one, which I think looks a lot better. So uh, it has a, a metal chassis and these uh, eight metal uh, knobs as well. There's only, uh, what's that, um, seven buttons and eight knobs uh, and you've got a mod and pitch bend and that is it. It is very, very simple. It uses the kind of matrix style, of a bit similar to the, the Uno, which I will whack a screenshot up and show you. So that kind of works the same way. So there's very little controls um, and you've got quite a big screen. I mean, it's pretty low res, but it is quite large, which makes it, freaking change from anything new um so yeah so it looks pretty cool i mean and it has got a nice keyboard i think it's a fatar but it doesn't actually say that but they seem to use fatar keyboards in things like you know the the more expensive ones it has uh, midi in out it has usb and that is purely for um either uh, midi or uh, data transfer you cannot obviously record with that and it has uh, phones and then your main aux out and sustain pedal and a power switch uh, and that is it it is like i said very very kind of simple and straightforward so it says seven endless steel dials well i counted eight but never mind uh, the graphic display is 128 by 64 pixels so that's going to be like so pixelated and it has a white background led more than a thousand sounds so it has an absolute ton of sounds with it uh, three oscillators per voice uh, it has frequency modulation between the oscillators uh, all Q oscillator models um, and all microwave um, to XT and XTK wavetables. So these are earlier synths that uh, Waldorf produced. It has three independent multi-mode filters per voice. It has a filter FM, two drive st stages per voice with selectable drive curves. It has three fast ALFOs per voice, four fast envelopes per voice, programmable art pattern with up to 16 steps per sound, it has extensive multi-mode with 128 memory slots. Um, it has up to 25 voices and a 16-part multi-timbral. So, I mean, the specs on this are freaking amazing. Five buttons, a mini LED, volume knob, power switch, stereo out, headphone out, MIDI in, USB connection for MIDI in out, works with standard USB drivers, and is Windows and Mac compatible, and it has an external universal power supply. And there is a good video from uh, this guy, and I'll leave a link to this as well. So this is a pretty good video. Um, I'll not play it because I'll probably get copyrighted. So yeah, so that is it. it. Like I said, it doesn't really say much about it here. So it says the tone generation in the rock solid metal chassis with the high quality keyboard delivers the same fat and rich sound character that so many Waldorf users around the world love. When they play their Q, Q plus microwave and microwave 2 XT or even the flagship, um, the Wave, uh, you heard me right yet. Not only can Blofeld keyboard produce the warm organic sounds of the Waldorf Q, it even has a powerful wavetable engine, just like its ancestors with the wave in their name. The unique synthesis system is based on the revolutionary PPG synthesizers of the early 1980s. When you first hear the Blofeld, you'll immediately remember those edgy, assertive or bell-like timbers that have been an integral part of countless global hits since the PPG era. The Blowfoot keyboards include 60 megabyte of non-volatile memory for samples. Um, so it says you can play your sound creations on the high quality keyboard, which is not only velocity sensitive, but also responds to aftertouch. And all of this is packed in a slim metal case with large graphic display, stainless steel endless knobs, and an internal power supply. So you can, you can still buy this, obviously new. I got mine uh, obviously second hand, but you can still buy this new. And if we go to Anderton's, um, you can see you can get the black version for some reason is cheaper than the white version. The black version is 600 and the white version is 650. And I don't know why. I, and you do actually get some software with this, which is quite good. The uh, And there's there's the, the kind of little desktop version as well. well like I said, I uh, found this 
um, quite a good article. Um, and I'll leave a link to this as well. And this goes into quite a lot of information about it as well. Tells you quite a bit more. Um, I'm not going to read it all because it does go on for quite a while. And like I said, one of the main reasons I got this was the uh, multi-timbral. Um, so you can have 16 parts playing at once. And every part has its own MIDI channel key and velocity range. So complex multi-timbral setups are possible. The Bofell does not have an internal sequencer, but it makes up for an extensive arpeggiator. Uh, up to 16 steps can be programmed with individual settings of swing, glide, accent, and note length for each step. And like I said, it says uh, the user interface seems limited with only seven control knobs and five buttons, but the programming interface is, is in fact intuitively designed or works well. Instead of dedicated knobs, it uses the matrix approach. So yeah, so like I said, it, uh, it looks like it's going to be um, pretty good fun, um, and I will obviously be doing various videos once it arrives. Um, so that's it uh, for today's kind of like sneak peek of the next synth that is coming my way hopefully fairly soon. So thanks for watching and as usual if you are enjoying videos please like, subscribe, share and comment um, and I will uh, see you next week. Bye for now.